Pro Wrestling, August 16th, just days away. I can feel it, I can taste it. The Dave Duncan Memorial Tournament. In the opening match, the heart killer Chris Wilde and Gavin Jackson versus the almost seven foot tall Napalm Bomb and the over 300 pound Mustafa Aziz Daniels. What a way to open the tournament. But you know what? The heart killer Chris Wilde is hearing a lot of naysayers. I'm hearing a lot of doubters. And you know what? That's cool. I've been, I've, I've been, in, haven't been doubted since I was born. People have been counting me out since I learned how to walk. But you know what? That's fine. Why are we, why are we underdogs? Why would you call us underdogs? Why? Because Gavin Jackson is new? Because Gavin Jackson is new to this business? You know what? Gavin Jackson has something that the rest of the guys in this tournament don't have. He's got that fire. He's got that heart. He's got that desire because he knows that he might never get an opportunity like this again. I mean, the Dave Duncan Memorial Tag Team Tournament is the best tag team tournament in America. I'm going to say that now. As far as me, at All or Nothing 8, I had to go through two matches to prove myself. First, I had to defeat OVW Shane Andrews. And then, I had to take on seven guys in the Ultimate Warrior Contract Collision Ladder Match. And in that match, I climbed the rungs of that ladder and I want a shot at any championship in Cubby Pro that I want. Underdogs? I don't think so. You see, the believers call us dark horses. I wouldn't say that either. They say that we're dark horses because, you know, we might be able to take a team like D-Line. We might be able to take a team like the heavyweight champion Ace Montana. The former heavyweight champion Bazooka Joe. They say that there's a dark horse team that can win, but I don't think we're dark horses. You see, when I look at the heart killer Chris Wilde and Gavin Jackson, I see two wild stallions that are ready to prove a point. You might be asking why I'm holding a light bulb, but it's simple. You see, Dave Duncan was a guy that would do anything to help out the guys at Covey Pro, and he did that. You see, Dave Duncan bought the lights that Covey Pro now uses on their TV show. And there's nothing that Dave would like better and at the end of the night, for a team with heart and desire to shine underneath those lights. Napalm Bomb, Mustafa, D-Line, Bazooka Joe, Ace Montana. The only thing that's going to happen to you guys after this night is the lights are going to go out. But, what better way to end the night than not only to shine under Dave's lights, not only to hold his trophy, but to maybe... Just maybe, cash this bad boy right here.